Hello 7th graders! Para sa video na ito, gagabayan ko kayo upang masagot ang activity number 3 entitled Verbal to Mathematical Phrases. But do not be confused dahil sa activity na ito, magta-translate tayo ng mathematical to verbal phrases. So let us begin by answering example number 1. We have x minus 11. So, as you could see, the operation used is subtraction. Meaning, ang mga keywords na pwede natin gamitin ay ang mga salita kagaya ng decreased by, less, diminished by, difference of, subtracted from, minus, or reduced. So, it could be translated as a number x diminished by 11. O pwede natin palitan kagaya ng less. So, a number x less by 11. Or, a number x minus 11. Or, we could simply write the difference of a number x and 11. So, take note that for this activity, marami tayong pwedeng maging sagot. Okay? Next, example number 2. We have x plus 4. Take note that the operation used is addition. So, the keywords that we could use are increased by, added to, sum of, more than, plus, total, and combined with. So, pwede natin yan translate as a number x increased by 4. Or we could simply write a number x added to 4. Pwede rin namang a number x plus 4. Or we could simply write the sum of a number x and 4. Next, example number 3. So, we have C divided by 3. So, take note that the operation is division. So, pwede natin gamitin ang mga keywords such as divided by, ratio of, over, and quotient. So, we could rewrite A number C divided by 3. O pwede namang the quotient of A number C and 3. Or, the ratio of A number C and 3. Example number 4. We have 4U. So as you could see here, wala tayong operation or symbol for operation na nakita. So ibig sabihin, the operation that could be used is multiplication. So we could use the keywords for multiplications such as multiplied by or n times, multiplied to, or the product of. So we could simply write there 4 multiplied by a number u pwede namang 4 times a number u or 4 multiplied to a number u or simply the product of 4 and a number u example number 5 we have x times y plus 2 so take note meron tayong dalawang operation that is multiplication and addition so, we could translate that as a number x multiplied to y increased by 2. Or, a number x times y increased by 2. O pwede namang, a number x times y plus 2. Or simply, the product of a number x and y added to 2. So, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next virtual instructions.